other quick uh, tips and tricks I want to talk about. Uh, first one is called uh, Quick Relations. What this allows you to do is you can select on a sketch and in the context toolbar, you'll notice that you'll get some options uh, to quickly add relations on the fly. Uh, I can select this common endpoint between the two lines, uh, add a perpendicular relation. I can add a tangent relation here, uh, pull that down. So you can do things like this very quickly and easily just by selecting on the geometry. All right, the other thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sketch a line vertical. Okay, and we'll convert that to a construction line. And what I wanna do here is I wanna make these two lines symmetric about this center line. And we can do uh, or add a symmetric relation to that just by control selecting the two lines and including the center line as part of that selection. And that will give me the option to add a symmetric relation. All right, so I can drag this back and forth. Obviously this has a fillet on this side. These are not equal, but I can drag this around like so and add those relations very quickly. virtual sharps. So let's say you want to add a, a dimension, let's say from this line coming up to the virtual sharp of where this fillet is here. So you can actually create virtual sharps in your sketches that you can dimension to. You do that simply by control selecting the two lines. All right, You want to be careful not to select the midpoint that pops up there. So I'll control select this line. And then you're going to activate your point command, and that will create a virtual sharp that looks like this. So when I actually go to create a dimension, I can dimension and select that virtual sharp like so. How easy was that? Okay. How we can dimension to circles, arcs, and diameters. All right, going back to that same part or same sketch that I have. So here, this is uh, what I would, I would revolve this part, all right, about this axis. So I might want to put a lot of diameter dimensions in here. So I can add a dimension by selecting a line and then selecting the center line. And simply by moving my cursor down, You'll notice that it displays this as more of the diameter versus the radius that would be there. Okay. And if I don't move my cursor, then it behaves a little bit better. Once you've at, entered the first one, I can grab a line. And then you can see here, every new line that I select makes that process go very quickly. Now, when we're talking about trying to dimension to circles or arcs, so I can draw, well, let's just draw a couple of circles like this. And so when you add a dimension to your circles, by default, it's always going to go to the center of those arcs. All right, and that's perfectly fine. But what if that's not what you're trying to achieve here? What if you want to go to the tangency points? Well, you can actually do that by holding the shift key. And if I click on the outer sides of the two circles, then that's what will display. So the shift key allows me that quick uh, option to dimension to inside or outside, as you see here. Okay. Now I'm just going to del delete that there. Um, another way that you could do this was put in a put in a dimension. So let's say I I add a dimension for the center points and I select the dimension. If you go to your leaders tab here, at the very bottom you have options for arc conditions. So I could set this to be min, uh, min max to get something like that or max min 
you have options you can control where the dimension is uh, on your sketch when you're dimensioning to circles and arcs like that as well. The next uh, feature I want to talk about, this new enhancement, is called Silhouette Entities. So this is actually pretty interesting. Um, it works very similar to Convert Entities. So you can see here I have this multi-body part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch on this face and just rotate this so you can see it. And if we go into our Tools menu under Sketching Tools, there's a new feature called Silhouette Entities. So what this allows me to do is I can select on a body and it will create a silhouette sketch on this face, just like you see here. All right, so I can do that. And I could go ahead and reuse that to maybe create a pocket or, or something that matches the geometry of that part, which I think is pretty, pretty cool, actually. I hope you find it interesting as well.